What's good guys, I missed the beginning from uh, Finch vs Hector hard mode because I was laddering for suspect and rendering the Zamrock video so let me just rewatch the first few turns Hector hard mode brought Scully pe Pete, I hope this team is not based around Cancer Pass I mean I would love to see this being like Hydro Vortex Scully Pete or like Oh Z move Ganger from Finch's side and the Mega Pinsel too Landris just got blown back I would love to see it like being spikes or T-spikes, Scolipede or Hydrobotics. Or he missed a Hydro Pump on what is potentially probably a Solvus Magnezone. I think Finch is just gonna like HP fire on his own or Volt Switch out. Or we Flash Kent again. <coughs> Maybe it's choice then. <coughs> oh no, okay, it's not choice. I know why he Flash Kent the last time then. Spins are probably just gonna fire the frustration predicting the Fini to come in. Oh, this is Earthquake. I thought it, mm, I thought it was so obvious that he would switch there. But yeah, as a viewer, it's always easy to say. I've been preaching that. It's always easy to make like a wild prediction when you're just watching. And when you're not playing yourself. Jump takes a flash, can do the face, doubles out to pins on the man. I guess you can just Earthquake again now. Yeah, okay. Get the chip on Fini. Hector like Hartmut can fire off a madness, exactly, exactly. Oh, gets disabled? That doesn't really matter. So he doubles out into Pinsel, predicting what? Predicting the zone? That's a hard play. But he could have just, like, Focus Blast at the zone too. Okay, zone dies to Earthquake this time. Um, really nice how Finch is playing this. I predict Finch to win, by the way. Even though I didn't make any reads yet, yet, throughout this game. So what does Ash be Ash Ninja? Oh, we already revealed that Hydro Pump. So we already know the ability if we paid attention. Oh, he missed the Hydro Pump earlier. This is the zone, right? I think he's Ash Ninja. Ooh, and he misses again. It doesn't matter if he hits now. If he hits now, it doesn't matter. I guess it kind of matters because they would have died and he would have gotten the form. Yeah, that kind of matters. That sucks. He would have gotten the Ash form there. He dodges Nature's Madness, that's some justice, right? So did this Scully put it doesn't reveal anything yet. So I'm wondering if it's the substitute Batompa thing that you see on the ladder a lot, or if it's SD Hydrobotics. SD Hydrobotics is so cool. Kills Landers. I think it's a roll from full defensive land. Oh it is that SD set, but I hope it has Z move too. So he can just go for poison jab here, right? I'm pretty sure it's the Zemo set. Gengar gets sacked off and... What does he even have for this? Okay, he disables the poison jab, which sucks. And yeah, he has pins to quick attack him too, I forgot about that. He always gets the cursed body. <laughs> that is so funny sometimes. Yeah, he has to, was forced to quick attack there. I guess he can just fire off when they just manage our Moonblast. Depending on how healthy his team is. I mean the zone is pretty low. But Nature's Madness should still be fine here. Yeah, exactly. So that thing has still left of us, okay. I'm actually close to getting wrecked. I think like 5 coil missing and I think I have like 13 games left. Shoutouts BTB for that one team. Okay, Moonblast. Double into Ninja. I don't know if he predicted that Pinsel, but that was a hard play. Okay, this time he hits. Finally, the Ash Form is here. The Ash Form is now, as Pokemon would say. <laughs> a blunder. Why does Nate exclusively lose bad teams? Nate is Hector Hard Mode, if you didn't know already. I mentioned that a few times earlier in another video. So he's forcing the Fiend here, right? I guess he could go to Garchomp if he's Scarf. Did the Garch... I don't think anyone got a Brox yet, which is like interesting. Or did I miss anything? And Nah, I don't think... Nah. This could be Scarf Jump then. He will just fire off an Earthquake here, right? Uh, doesn't Greninja... Greninja lives on Earthquake from full, so he might... 
he might be tempted to go for Outrage, which would let the Tapufini come in for free if Hector would predict that. But I'm pretty sure I just cocked this earlier. Earthquake from Garchomp vs Greninja, that's like 79 to 80 something. Yeah, exactly, that's 83. Uh, I'm not sure if that crit matter. I don't think it does. Because it's a Specs Ash Ninja, right? Yeah, that kills anyway, correct. So now he can just quick attack. He's pretty much forced to quick attack unless he wants to make a hard read, which would be risky as fuck. So we saw Zemo from the Gengar. Did we see? Oh, yeah, I already was talking about the Zemo school beat. It's probably the Zemo on, on Hector's team. So is it Rocks Jump or Rocks Land though? I really don't remember since I like missed a few turns and I just rewatched them in fast pace. I don't remember what Trump used yet. Okay, just makes a safe play, but frustration. Um, I think don't think frustration kills, but he can go for SD. But the thing is, no someone has said shit. I always SD there. If it's scarf jump. That might live a quick attack from 55 since Aerial 8 got nerfed. Okay, that kills? Wow, I didn't think that would kill. I thought Fini lives that with like 5%. So I'm assuming this is like Scarf Jump with Edge or Rock Slide, probably. Like, pretty obvious, right? We see Scarf Jump a lot actually in these SPR games. Um, I mean, we saw it in the Zamro game earlier. And I have also been using that set myself. That thing a lot. Double into Scolipede on a type of Fini, what a lord play. Now he can fire off. If he has DZ on the land, this guy is Jesus. The, the, the poison jab is like, oh, kind of obvious, right? If he has DZ, I like. I got respect for that boy if the Lando comes out and he has DZ. This is like the. I mean, doesn't the, doesn't the Greninja kind of win anyway? He just has to weaken this and the ninja kind of wins, right? Now, I don't know if the lander is a scarf, but it's probably Rock's Lando. I just make the safe play, yeah, exactly. And I guess he didn't have a reason to overpredict there. He just finished his quick, quick attacks now. Feels bad, man. When you grab some food and want to ladder a little bit, and you already missed like half of this game. Yeah, it just makes the safe play. And Scarf Chum comes back. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, what do you go here for here if you finish? You just go Landers, right? Because that's what that's a 100%. Hard Ninja, Hard Ninja. There's no way he stays in with Pins there, right? Heart Ninja, dude. Did he do it? Heart Ninja, my man. Sorry, he didn't do it. <laughs> Heart Ninja would have been the god play. Doesn't he just lose now? Actually, actually, yeah, he just loses to Quick Attack now. Oh, I forgot about Water Shuriken, but Water Shuriken doesn't kill the Pinsir. Dude, if he doubled to Ninja, he would have won, potentially. I swear I only make god plays, I predict that end game. I mean I don't want to talk trash or anything, right? I'm not an FPL, I'm just like... A, I've been mentioning this like a few times in earlier woods. Already in this video too. It's pretty easy to suggest a play when you're just watching. But I'm pretty sure you had to double there at the end. That was like the only play that I caught right though. At the beginning I made some wrong reads too. So yeah. Nice to see Finch win, I predicted him to win, even though I uh, like Hector too, so yeah, that's kind of like sad. Like one eye is smiling, one eye is has a tear in it, but one player has to win, right, that's how Pokemon works. Um, I'll have like more spiel content coming for you later, stay tuned for that, smash that like button if you want me to keep doing this. I hope we will have more guests later on, or at least one guest. I'm just glad that I at least caught the, the second half of this match. 
Uh, I didn't want to do a replay, like replays are not that interesting. So yeah, at least we caught like 20 turns of this match live. Dogwitch signing out. Peace out, buddies. 10 minutes. Ah, juicy. Nice and quick.